All right, guys, we're in the beautiful little town of Edam, or however you pronounce it. It is a small town, like 20 minutes, 26 minutes away from uh, Amsterdam Central. So now we're just walking down to our Airbnb and just probably gonna nap because we've been up since 3 a.m. What is your first opinion on Edam in Amsterdam? Um, I adore it. I think it's, it, it makes me feel like I'm like a little person in a little you town. You are a little person. After having to get up so early, the only thing we wanted to do is lay down and meet our host. He asked us to blur his face and his cat's face. I'm just kidding, that's his cat. Isn't she so cute? She was very needy and also a great host. And after taking a quick nap, it was time to explore the town. We have suspect number two. Well, not suspect, I mean, not because black. Right here we get a black, um, chimney cat she is very fluffy so our original plan was it to go to a um, Dutch restaurant but apparently they eat here at 5 30 and 6 p.m. and it is currently around 7 30 we're just kind of late for dinner time we just decided to go to a Italian restaurant and our host says really good so let's check it out it turns out that missing the Dutch dinner time wasn't so bad after all Matter of fact, we were both actually surprised by how good this food was, and the prices weren't too bad either. Both of our pizzas were really really good, but they were a little small for my liking. All in all, we had a great experience. We just found another cat! Let's go. So right now we're in this grocery store right by the um, Amsterdam Central Station. We just came back from a trip to Oktoberfest Munich and there was a lot of beer. But I did not think they were gonna have this much beer in Amsterdam, that's, that's crazy. Another funny thing about Amsterdam or just everything we've seen so far, a lot of the houses are actually slanted. It looks so funny, it looks like something straight out of Harry Potter or yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> describes it best, I think. It doesn't really matter in which direction you start walking from Central Station, you'll definitely run into those so-called coffee shops. Be aware that 90% of the time they don't sell coffee, but they sell marijuana. But most importantly, you will never run out of food options. Only a few minutes of walking from Central Station, we find this amazing bakery. They have a huge variety of cheese, macarons, and sandwiches. That's good. Honestly, if I had the money for it, I would've just bought all the cheese in there, but I have some red pesto chip no, red pe yeah, red pesto cheese, and some goat cow pesto chili cheese. I'm so excited, it looks so fancy, like, oh, I just wanna eat them right now. With full bellies and a tight schedule, it was time to make our way into the south of Amsterdam. It is so freaking windy here in Amsterdam today, but at least it's not cold. We got some sunshine, we are really lucky with the weather. At least it doesn't rain. Do you know where we are? Amsterdam? Yeah, I mean, Amsterdam is right, but exactly. We are at the Heineken Brewery. Ooh. So we are actually a little bit too early. Um, we still have 20 minutes. We're not the biggest fans of beer. She had her first German beer in um, Munich on Oktoberfest. But a lot of people who don't like beer said that this is supposed to be really good. This tour is about two hours, I think. We get to try some beer from here and uh, when I kill it the next 20 minutes, see what we're gonna do and uh, see you in the brewery. Welcome to the Heineken Experience, where you're invited to explore the rich history and brewing traditions of Heineken. Please note that before showing up, you have to book a time slot online. If you have the premium ticket, you get one and a half hours of access throughout the entire building, including the rooftop bar. We were totally fine with our basic tickets though, and really enjoyed the tastings and interactive exhibits. We also really appreciated that halfway through the tour, we could just walk at our own pace and didn't have to wait for the group. After customizing our own beer bottles, it was time to head to the basement where the Heineken bar is found. Down here, you get to try more beer and you can also take part in the Heineken Draft Challenge. You compete against three strangers and whoever drafts the best beer gets a prize. It was really fun. But now, wish me luck. And we start drafting in three, two, one, go! And everybody eat that sauce before! Some noise if you think that this is the best beer in the room. 
No, Lita is quite amazing. Give me some noise if you think that this is the best beer in the room. Woo! Oh, yeah, you're more shy, you're more shy one. And give me some noise if you think this is the best beer in the room. Okay. And give me some noise lastly if you think that this is the best beer in the room. Woo! So we have a clear winner in there. And it's this little bit of a, an iced tea. Sorry. It's actually really good. Obviously, obviously, obviously. It's the real Heineken, the original one. So, ladies and gentlemen, give me some noise for the winner of the draft challenge, Michael from Germany! It was so much fun. I didn't really mind that the actual price was already sold out. I was happy with my Heineken beer bottle openers. But now it's time for my girlfriend to go. If you think that this is the best beer in the house! I do think we have a winner. Because of waiting so much and also making an amazing beer, you're gonna have the actual price. Because we only have one left. One? Let us have it. Give me some actual noise for the winner of the draft challenge, Mega! Woo! USA! 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 What is going on guys? We just finished the Heineken Museum. So much fun. I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend doing it. The beginning is kind of like, uh, It's kind of whack. You're, you're it's too like, crowdy. Yeah. As you go through, it's so much fun. This is how I'm standing right now. So we're gonna go get some food now and um, dude, this was, it was totally worth it. It's not overpriced. You get a lot of stuff for good money. So yeah, it was fun. And you get to come out a little bit buzzed. After only walking for one minute, we ran into this beautiful restaurant located right behind the Heineken Experience. We 100% recommend coming here after the tour. So yeah, that was our first full day in Amsterdam. It was so much fun. I can't wait for tomorrow. We have some cool stuff planned. All in all, I can just say the city is incredible. There's such a big variety of pretty much everything. So many different people, so many different restaurants, which is amazing because I love eating. <laughs> so yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goofy ass ringtone. <laughs>we are again at Central Station which is a great starting point to pretty much anywhere in the city because it's so central everything's really close you can decide if you want to walk or just take the tram right now we're gonna go walk to a little cafe it's called um, Cafe Winkel 43 they apparently have the best apple pie in the entirety of Amsterdam let's check it out and see for ourselves see you there the thing we love about Amsterdam is that you don't have to necessarily take the public transportation when you walk by foot, you get so many new impressions and see so much of the city. Please let me welcome you to Coffee Winkle 43, the best apple pie in the entire city of Amsterdam, and always say yes to the whipped cream. So after waiting like 20 minutes, it was definitely worth it. The pie looks so good and it tastes so good too. I totally get why it's world famous. Yeah, I might even come back for this because this is delicious. I'm not even a big fan of apple pie, but this is just so much more than just an apple pie. It's, it's sweet, creamy, savory. Savory. Savory is salty, right? No. Nope. Yeah. It's just good. It's, it's delicious. Hi, can you just make me one, the one you like the most, just make it for me? Okay. Yeah, yes. I thought that'd be cool. I was feeling adventurous and I just let her do her thing. She put some sun-dried tomatoes, arugula, mozzarella, and garlic oil in there. It was actually so good. Nevertheless, I think 850 was a little bit too pricey. But now it's time to taste it. Thank you. Mm, it's really good. Grazie. So I asked her to just make me whatever she likes the most. We have a little balsamic, whatever you call it, stuff on it with artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, burrata, and ricola. No, ricola. Whatever you call it. It's so good. And with some kind of garlic oil. Mm, a little bit of Italy in the heart of Amsterdam. Delicious. As if the apple pie and the sandwich weren't enough, we just could miss out on a street food market. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so I got hungry again. Surprise. And uh, right here we have a beautiful sausage. I mean, no one would need something this long with some beautiful <laughs> sauerkraut and some mustard. This is a garlic sausage worst. Mm. 
It is so nice and juicy. They have this beautiful marks on the grill, this crunchy bread, and this slightly, slightly burned kraut. Delicious. Only $6.50. Very good. So behind me there is the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and it would be a nice place to go. Too bad we didn't know that the uh, reservation times are actually pretty big. So when you come to Amsterdam, make sure that you buy your tickets at least four to six weeks in advance because they're pretty much always sold out for the popular places, so be aware of that. Only three minutes away from Central Station, we found this restaurant called Guadalupe with a beautiful view on the canals. It was quite pricey and the food wasn't that good, but I guess here you just pay for the view. Another must-see on your bucket list has to be the red light district. Just be aware that this is only for adults. Okay guys, that was day two of Amsterdam. It was so much fun. We did a lot of walking today, way more than yesterday. I think my favorite part of today was getting the apple pie and the coffee. It was so good. I'm gonna link the address and the price and everything in the video description so you can go to that cafe too. But the market was definitely one of my highlights today. Well, good morning everyone. Thankfully, we didn't have to start our day with almost missing our canal cruise, but instead with some apple pie and coffee. After we all introduced ourselves, our captain started talking about the history of Amsterdam. My favorite part was it that there's 2,500 houseboats in Amsterdam, but one definitely stands out. It's a cat houseboat, how lovely is that? It's a place where stray cats can find shelter, food, and lots of attention. When you walk the city streets, you have no choice but notice the flower bikes. This is the guy responsible, they call him the flower bike man. Are you looking for the best cookies in Amsterdam? Well, look no further. They can be found here at, uh, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this. They're so good. These with milk would be insane. So the dough is a dark chocolate dough. In the middle, they put a piece of white chocolate in it, and it just creates this like white creamy melted chocolate, and it just it melts in your mouth. The, yeah, it just perfects the cookie. Yeah. Really good. And what's worth the wait? Only two fifty per per cookie. Really yummy. Yeah. So right now we're gonna go to a really popular um, fries place. What is it called again? Fable fries? Fable fries, yeah. There's probably gonna be a long line too, but let's try them. I really want something savory. Let's go. Fable fry or fable fry is a must try when you're in Amsterdam. They have the best fries I've ever had in my life, and the sauces are just mouth watering. Dude, these fries are so freaking good. They're crispy. The sauce is amazing. I have the truffle mayo and you have the what? Spicy mayo. Spicy mayo and the Parmesan cheese. Uh, it's not too fatty. It's perfectly crunchy on the outside and it's soft on the inside. We're gonna demolish these and might even go for a second. Oh, smell amazing, taste amazing. Mm. Oh man, my mouth is watering just thinking about those fries. But now we're heading to the Amsterdam Lookout Tower. We definitely appreciated that taking the ferry was absolutely free. After heading up the stairs, you can take a picture with the green screen or experience a virtual roller coaster ride through the entire city. But it was so bad I had to take my goggles off early. And to be brutally honest here, the only thing we really liked was the view on top. Everything else was just overpriced. Okay, so we just left the lookout. I would say the lookout part was nice. It was really nice. It was nice Beautiful view. See, but the VR is just We're filming better. ourselves, you can go. <laughs> the VR, yeah, the VR is absolutely not worth it. Um, it's overpriced for the stuff you get, I mean, I get motion sick really fast, so it was even less enjoyable for me. But it was just not, like overall, like the graphics are bad and it's just... Apparently we're, we were supposed to smell stuff as we're flying through the city. I smelled nothing but some foul eggs. It, it smelled really bad out there. It just smelled, yeah, like like rotten eggs, literally. It smelled so bad. I mean, being up on the lookout, I don't know if it's worth $16. I think it's a little pricey, but I mean, that's how I mean that's how they get you. I mean, you want to see it and there's no choice. So yeah, all in all, it's worth it to go up there. Beautiful view, but the VR experience is a scam and don't go there. So like I've said earlier in the video, um, our mistake was it that we didn't book the Anne Frank house were far enough in advance so now we're just trying to call there look online if anyone canceled their tickets so maybe there's still a chance for us to go but it's not looking too good right now maybe we're lucky but we'll see if we're lucky or not 12 seconds later update we're not lucky no tour in the Anne Frank house maybe next time book your tickets in advance guys it's gonna be worth it we are now in one of the many restaurants at the Central Station. This one's called Wagamama. It's basically an Asian restaurant with ramen and all those things. Um, wanna see how it is? We are not sure what we're gonna do later because we've done most of the stuff we wanted to do. 
Maybe we'll go back to get some fries, but we're kind of just deciding what we're going to do. But let's check out this Asian food first. It's going to be so yummy. I really enjoyed eating with these wooden spoons and the food was amazing. 10 out of 10 experience. I definitely understand why Melly's Ruffles is said to have the best Ruffles in Amsterdam. And trust me on this one. Get the classic one. The smell in there is insane. There's literally people walking down the street and they're like, wow, it smells beautiful. We just got our first Ruffles in Amsterdam. It's actually the first one I've ever had in my life. And I had no idea what to expect. They're super crunchy, still warm. We got ours from Melly's Ruffles, which is in the heart of Europe. Oh. <laughs> which is in the heart of Amsterdam. 10 out of 10, can only recommend, not too sweet, delicious. Give yourself a street buffalo, guys. It's always better sweet to leave, but don't worry, we have one last thing planned for you guys. Oh, and by the way, taking the public transport is as easy as nowhere else. And you have free Wi-Fi on board. Welcome to Tony's Chocolate Only, where you can make your own custom chocolate bar or just get some that are already pre-made. This was definitely a very unique experience and most importantly, it was lots of fun. All right guys, so we just finished making our own chocolate bars. We're gonna go pick them up in two hours because then you time to dry or get hard. Pause. <laughs> you guys know how I meant that. But yeah, we're gonna go to get some more strobe waffles, strobe waffle, whatever they're called. And then we're just gonna spend our last few hours in Amsterdam and uh, make the best of it. See you at our next location. After making the best of our last few hours and picking up our chocolate, it was finally time to try it and it was so good. I definitely recommend going there and make your own chocolate bar. Thank you so much for watching. Not only do I hope that you enjoyed this video, but also that it helped you for your future stay in Amsterdam. And if you have any tips for other travelers, leave it in the comments. Peace.